Go to the, the, the What's up, Bob? Alrighty then. Got this for my friend Rocky, ex coworker, always friend. All of this stuff for 50 bucks. Um, I know what he showed me, uh, but originally started with some hats for 30 bucks, and I saw them just a picture and I was like, done. And then he was like, I actually got other stuff if you want it for 50. Who knows what that is? We'll go through it when I get home. What's up, YouTube? Follow my boy, like some. Subscribe, <laughs> comment, <laughs> link in the bio down below. Don't Sunny link, Las Vegas. Don't link the bio. <laughs> link in the bio. Link in the bio. <laughs> it's too early for this. Really digging this t-shirt right here. It's a thumbnail I made of Krillin and I uh, when we had our first live chat together. And people have been asking ever since, can you make t-shirts out of it? So now it is available on Merch by Amazon within the link down below. I do get some profits off of it, but it's not profits that I'm using for me to keep necessarily. It's actually to throw back into more items that I could like say stickers, maybe buttons. Um, it's just gonna go back to just whoever is interested in it. Keep it going towards the reseller community. <laughs> With the foot traffic coming in, I got squeezed into the only aisle that was empty enough for me to stroll through. I'm glad it did because it takes me out of my norm of how I go into places and discover new things. Like these brass holders. There are some short stem ones and I couldn't, I really don't know the wording to look this up on eBay. So I ended up using Google Lens. And this one is the one that came up right away. Now both of their prices have a wide range when it comes to their comps, anywhere from like $30 up to 100 plus. So if you happen to buy a set of these, keep your eyes out on them, see what metal they actually are, ask a friend, reach out. This Grandeur Noel, I got excited with this one because it's brand new in box and the price was pretty decent for a collector because they resell for around say 29 bucks. That's so cool. I thought this was pretty cool for an elephant. Pretty artistic and as an artiste myself, I was like, cool. But it had a lot of damages. Found another one of them boxes and looked this one up. The barcode did come up right off the bat. I got super excited. This is the second thing I picked up for 50 buckaroos. And this, I'll show you towards the end how much this could sell for. Some comps. Some screenshot of the comps. Great tag, half off. It was a dollar on Saturday, missed it by a day. I'm getting ready to get an event after this. So I hold on to these electronics to look in the corded section to see if there's anything else. Harman Cardone CDR2. I thought I scored on this one. I've seen these before sell so for around 200, but for 99 bucks, not worth it on myself. <laughs> not at all. Some prices can be a little ridiculous, but there's always stuff for me to find and for you too and thrift stores. So had to put these back and give it a little farewell pat. Sonny, don't even bother looking at this. It's not your size and you're not going to lose weight. You haven't worked out yet. Get over it, my dude. Get over it. Now these shoes right here, looked up the tag on the inside. Number came right up on the eBay comps. They resold for around 40. I bought them for $7. Okay. This one was a hard one. I wanted to keep it. It was a good size, 2XL. I am a little plump, a little plump all the way around. You know what I mean? <laughs> but for 29 bucks, I held on to this for the whole two hours that I was walking around and ended up putting it back. Now here is me opening up the box that I found for 50 bucks. Everything looks brand new condition. These things, they sell for hundreds. The only thing though, the only thing, is that it's heavy it's probably like 30 pounds or more but people were paying up for this price up to like 175 dollars shipping and paying like 300 to 500 for these look at these comps let's step in the reeds see if they got anything i could take to this event look at all this diabetes just rotating around waiting for somebody to choose them and take them home and that looks good especially this amazon prime one gives me some ideas I ended up getting a gift card and at first they didn't have an envelope i went back inside and asked if they could give me a container just so it doesn't look like plain jane i think this comes off a little bit better because the limit was 25 dollars but some people are a little extra like myself so i actually added an extra five dollars wow gift you're a card. baller i'm at my old stomping grounds right here i used to work right here 1575 west horizon ridge parking grounds usps 
Chee. I was a hot mess just a couple of weeks ago. Lost my wallet. Dropped the ball with Miss Tappy. Didn't meet her when she came down to Vegas. Then ended up having the 12 hour live event. And I, with the 12 hour live event, I ended up kicking everybody off. I, I don't know how many times. It was probably at least two minimum, but maybe three times. After all of that snowball effect, two days, one of the smoothest days that I've had. Woke up, made it on time to a friend to get all the things that I showed you earlier. Was able to eat something, not starve myself, get some treats. I even got a gift card to participate in the white elephant and then drop off an order. Reason why it worked out on top of that is because my wife's been trying to get me to get a passport. On good terms, good vibes with the employees that are still here. I'm glad to see that they ended up saying like hey sonny come here on a saturday um we'll just walk you in you don't need to make an appointment it's good to know people but it's more important to be good with good people I'm Sunny Las Vegas and if you made it this far make sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already it'll help me grow my channel and also be more encouraged to be putting out content that I enjoy doing anyways so it's a win-win for all of us thanks for watching